Hello, Reformers, and welcome back to Fallout 4. Now, when we left off, we had just wandered through a raider-infested facility and avoided, well, narrowly avoided two death claws. And, well, we are now back at Railroad HQ, and we will be speaking to Dr. Carrington, who is just over here taking oh, another sleep by the looks Augusta of things. Augusta safe house was destroyed by the Institute. It's as I feared. Three safe houses gone. Hard to imagine. I have nothing further for you at the moment. I'm sure someone else could use your help. No shortage of files to be put out. Well, there we have it, and, ah, very nice indeed, we have leveled up, we have completed Butcher's Bill now, and, according to Drummer Boy, Pam wants to see us. Never met us in before glory. So, where is, ah, this might be Pam. It is. Confirmed. Agent Fixer has arrived. I have a mission for you. Without increasing efficiency of synth traffic flow, odds of entire organization being compromised increase daily. Solution, a new distribution center needs to be established. A distribution center? What's that? The railroad organization calls distribution centers safe houses, a place where synths are stored and then rerouted safely through the region known as the Commonwealth. Mission details commencing. Pacify the target location. Fortify position to protect current and future railroad assets. New distribution center will be codenamed Mercer Safe House. Good luck. Ah, I see. So all we need to do is secure outpost Zimonia and then use the workshop. Really the okay, train? well, By yourself? I Glad suppose we will do that. Do we have to speak to anyone else? That is the question. I do not believe that is the case. So yeah, we're just going to be heading onward. Obviously, we do need to quick travel out of here. And we're going to be making our way... Oh, really? All the way up there? Okay, well, Recon Bunker Theta is very close by, so... Why not? Let's go all the way over there. Do bear in mind we have a perk point to spend as well, so we're going to take a look at the perk chart and we'll find out what kind of ability and skills we are going to be acquiring. Hopefully something rather nice. So let us take a look here. Well, ooh, there are quite a few things here that I would really love to get. Oh, I would love to be able to get that. That requires level 20, however, and ooh... That's very nice as well. Okay, so everything that I would really love to get in agility is locked right now. Although that is quite nice. 15% sneak attack damage increase when we are using a silenced weapon, which we are. And obviously Action Boy is always useful considering we are using VATS a lot. But I'm going to be going for Medic right now. I'd like to be able to get our stim packs to use... Well, to restore a little bit more HP, and obviously Radaway is going to be taking more radiation away as well. So, let us head on here, pick up some mutated fern, because why not? We definitely like the pink flowers, and we are going to be making our way over to some bloodleaf, apparently, as well. Okay, well, yes, apparently we're some kind of herbalist in this episode, but we are going to be making our way over to Outpost Zimonia, and for some reason I continually find plants that are growing on the ground here. Okay, I'm not entirely sure what's going on with that, but okay, we need to be a little bit careful as we approach, because pacify definitely means there are going to be enemies, and we want to be a little bit cautious about that. Now, where are they? Ah, oh, no, they're actually a lot further than I anticipated, so I do not need to sneak just yet. I can pretty much just walk on and have no problems whatsoever, so we will just look around here. Anything that I need to worry about? It doesn't seem so. I am continually seeing things, though. I'm seeing hub flowers that I need to pick up. Well, I actually don't need to pick them up, but I'm picking them up because, well, it's Fallout, and you pick up everything, but, well, let's just see. Oh, we have Maya Lurks. What kind of Maya Lurk? It is a soft shell Maya Lurk. Okay, well. Hmm. Are we going to be dealing some damage to these Maya Lurks? Maybe. Maybe not.
Well, maybe we are. Apparently. Okay. Well, I don't want to spend too much on my ammunition. Help! Raid has jumped up. You gotta help. Oh. How many bullets I got left? Shit. Oh, Raid has jumped to you. No, okay. I will. I will follow. I will follow, and I will help you. I was just killing some myalogs. Hope you don't mind. Oh. You're still here. Hello. Okay, so there is actually another raider coming. Oh, a legendary. Oh. Damn it! Where'd you go? He's right over there. Don't worry. He has now mutated. We must kill him. Okay. Yes, I'm helping you. You don't have to worry. There we go. Now please jump down. Yes, he actually jumped down here. Thank you for. Well, he didn't jump. He actually exploded down here. But still, exterminate his leather right arm. Reduces damage from Maya looks and bugs by 15%. That's exactly what we like, isn't it? Yes. 50 caliber bullets. Wow, I have yet to come across anything that is, well, using a 50 caliber, caliber bullet. So that's that's actually very nice. Now, where is the settler? Where has the settler gone? Oh, there she is. Hello. Excuse me. Didn't expect help from a stranger. Thanks. You looking for a new place to settle? Could be. Why? Do you know somewhere good? I sure do. Well, it may not be the best place, but I would say that it's the most well defended, apart from maybe the railroad HQ. Well, let's send her there anyway. Thanks. See you there in a day or two. Huh. Fantastic. Okay. Well, yeah, there we go. We have acquired some additional armor as well. I'm wondering whether we should use that instead of our hazmat suit, but I really don't like to because obviously the hazmat suit has a huge amount of damage resistance, and I'm not entirely sure whether that's damage resistance against melee attacks or not, though, because it seems as though when we are melee attacked by anything, even a slight breeze, then it is remarkably unfortunate because we appear to take a huge amount of damage as a result, so maybe not. Maybe we don't really want to do that, so wait a minute, here's a legal notice. Oh, no. Oh, yes. Okay, well, wipe the terminal. Oh, I see. Well, shall we actually interact with the terminal? I don't do much of this because I really don't like looking at the terminals. It reminds me of hacking, and I'm pretty bad at that. So, water quality status. Oh, my. Well, it's not very good, is it? Yes, that does not seem good. So, what about the water quality incident reports? They're probably lying about it. Contaminant levels three times prior... Oh, wow. Illegal dumping remains the most likely cause. Oh, okay. So, yes, it appears as though some sort of radiation has been dumped into the water, and as a result, we are met by this. Huge amounts of radiation in the water. But obviously, yeah, that is not our concern any further, considering nukes fell and everything so we can pretty much just head onward now as we can see we are now within 90 yards 90 meters whatever unit of measurement they use for distance and we are now going to be trying and seeing what kind of units we are going to be facing most likely hmm i'm going to say synths but it's probably unlikely isn't it it's probably going to be raiders of some sort oh hello there it appears as though it is raiders. Okay. Sneak attack damage. Thank you. Oh, machine gun turret mark three. That's a little unfortunate. Well. Okay. Well, that happened. That actually did happen. That is rather amazing, is it not? Yes, it is. Where did I last save? That is going to be my main concern right now. Where did I last save? Oh, all the way back here before I killed the Myalux and the legendary raider. Okay, well, I'm going to be cutting away and I'll see you once we arrive at our destination. Okay, so we are quite close to our objective. However, we have now just been attacked by a couple of attack dogs and some raiders as well. I think this is actually a checkpoint for Outpost Zimonia that we avoided beforehand. As you can see, there are quite a few units down there. In particular, we have 
some machine gun turrets and some raiders, some tougher than average raiders by the looks of things, and we are going to be eliminating them before heading onward. These guys surprised me because I came through here and I was walking up there and these guys were behind me, so need to be a little bit careful in the future, I suppose, but we didn't really take too much damage. Obviously, that actually dealt quite a bit of damage to us. But let's just move on here and see... Ah, oh, look at this. We have some mannequins? Okay, that's a little bit creepy, I have to say. Oh, here we go. The British soldiers once again, I think. <laughs> oh. Explosives box. Well, we have some gamma rounds. 50 caliber, 308. Very nice. I'm actually a little bit worried about this. I'm going to quick save because you never know. There might be some kind of trap here. Nope. Yes. There we go. Thank you. Nice. Ah, oh, fragmentation mines, grenades, and molotovs. Okay. Thank you for that. And I suppose we will now be heading onward. Okay. So, what else do we need to do? Well, we just need to make our way over to the objective and shoot that guy. There we go, thank you. Now I'm going to be making a little bit of a detour around here because it appeared to me like a particular fellow shot something very explosive at us. I'm sure it's a missile launcher of sorts, maybe. Take out that guy, thank you very much. He exploded. And maybe we could take out a couple more with some stealth. Oh, okay. That is something. That is definitely something. <laughs> oh, okay. Yes, I think we probably want to move into our inventory here and actually eat a couple of things. Let's eat some blood leaf. And we'll be making our way over. Now, this is a little bit worrying. He seems to have a very explosive weapon there. There is a Raider Psycho. He's probably going to cause a little bit of difficulty trying to flank us. But maybe if we move down here, he will not know where to go. Yes, there we go. He's coming back. Keep your eyes open. You think this asshole's using a stealth boy? Whoop! That is not good. And that is worse. That is actually worse. As you can see, we've lost our arm. How dare they? Ah, uh, well, that is just how it is, isn't it? That guy has a very, very powerful weapon. I, hmm, well, I've not seen one of those before. At least, I don't think so. Ah, we did hit that fellow, but not enough. Okay, so I'm going to see if we can eliminate this guy before the others. Where is he? Is he in there? I'm pretty sure he's going to be in there. Games with me, huh? Yes, there he is. Oh. Oh, okay. Yes, explosions everywhere. As you can see. Oh, no. Okay, let's... Let's be very careful. Let's be very, very careful. We have dealt some damage to him. Oh, there he is. Well, we killed his accomplice, but I don't think it's going to be very easy to kill this guy. It doesn't look as though that is the case. Look at that. This guy has amazing armor. Oh my goodness. Okay, well, I think it's about time that we change to a higher caliber weapon, it appears. Yes, thank you very much. Nice sniper rifle here. Should do the job. Maybe. It appears as though he might actually be coming up here. Yes, he is. Really? That's the amount of damage I'm able to do? Yes. Okay, well, I think a stim pack is good. He actually appears to have used all of his ammunition for his explosive weapons, so this is good. Let's try and deal some damage here. He's using power armor. So let's do a nice... Well, I was going to say let's do a nice critical, but apparently I ran out of AP. Okay. Nice critical. Yes, there we go. Nice critical strike there. Nothing really to write home about, unfortunately, but we can hopefully headshot him if possible. 
There we go. Thank you very much. Goodness. Oh, he was using a fat man. Of course he was. Well, obviously, as we know, I think the fat man shoots mini nukes? I think it does. Yes, it does shoot mini nukes. I am not going to be keeping this. It is way too heavy, in my opinion. So let's just drop that. Thank you very much. And we'll now head into the area here and see if we can tackle a couple more of these. They're only Mark 1s, so nothing really to worry about. And we will now be using the workshop Perfect. and obviously reading this. There we go. We've collected an issue of Astoundingly Awesome Tales. And we will be picking that up. Thank you. There we go. So now we... Oh, they're actually forcing us to build things. Well, I'm not incredibly happy about that, but... Well, what can you do, I suppose? So let's see here. Where are defenses? There we go. Let's build some turrets. Let's not build anything, apparently, because we have no steel. Yes. Hmm. Well, we're going to have to do some amazing scrapping, aren't we? Yes. A lot of scrapping. Well, we can probably scrap that tree. Thank you very much. Let's scrap this and, well, this as well. I actually have no idea. Probably want to scrap this too. Okay, I want to try and build some turrets. So we need gears as well. Really? Oh no. Oh no, that is bad. That is very, very bad for us. I am not particularly very good at building here, so let's see what we can do. But Okay, we're going to try and get rid of this fence here because, well, it gives me steel and various other things, concrete. Oh my. Okay, well, repair a damaged object. Well, what what is what is damaged? The water pump is damaged, apparently, but there is the water pump, and it seems to be absolutely fine, so I'm not entirely sure what's going on with that, but yes, there we are anyway. Hmm. Well, we need gears. There's no way we're going to be able to get gears, are we? It seems as though that is not the case. Hmm. Well, that's... That's actually quite unfortunate, because I would have liked to have done this quest, but it appears as though I will need to scavenge a little bit more to be able to do so. And as a result, I'm going to be ending this episode of here, and next time on Fallout 4 we will have hopefully acquired some gears, and we will be able to continue with the railroad quests. I very much like working for the railroad, so hopefully we will be able to, well, continue. And so I thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time.